Hello guys and welcome to episode 69 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Sis of Twilight leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Previously we really put a beating onto both the Empire and the Dwarves. We killed multiple armies in single battles which was really really fun so if you missed it definitely go back and check it out but this time around we're going to be continuing with the cleanup. Uh, let's continue our turn. We'll head over to Ara, who is going to be moving towards the Tower of the Stars. We have Ortho die. He is going to head towards Val's Anvil. I think he'll be okay to deal with Tyrion. We've actually got to be kind of careful who we choose to go up against Tyrion, because Tyrion is very strong. Oh, his ward save and physical resistance isn't as high as I thought it would be at this point, to be honest, so that should be okay. His armor and melee defense and all those other stats, though, are crazy. Right, let's go ahead and zoom up to the moonshard. We need to catch up to this army so it doesn't start just rampaging through our lands. And Ionic. Let's go have a look at Lothurn. This army isn't as strong as it looks, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Um... Yeah, Teclis is in Lothurn, and Lothurn should have a pretty chunky garrison, so I don't think we'll land there. Let's go for Kenthel, and then we can head over to Lothurn. Maybe if we ambush, we can catch out Teclis separately, because Teclis is pretty strong, I think. Well, I say that, I don't think so. Let's just take this. Thank you very much for Flensburg. It's going to wipe out that army as well. Good stuff. Now we have a Kirin on the other side who can deal with Gerhard. We defeated his army previously, so <laughs> he just fell over <laughs> and died. And then we have Wurtbad, which is just out of range, of course it is. Alright, so what I'm going to actually do then, we're going to march towards Averheim and we can have Flynn uh, Ara take Wurtbad next turn. Can I offer assistance? Wonderful. So, what are we getting here? Do we have of bolts of the forest? Yeah, we do not. <clears throat> Big upgrade for him. Make those way watchers a lot stronger. I share the forest Dodan really like spoils <laughs> me having the ability to level all of these up. She's on way watchers. We'll do wonder the forest. And obscuring canopy, open branches. Strathlot's leveled up. Now uh, we've got a kid in leveled up. Oh, we need all of the ones that give us like, money, basically. It's kind of the priority right now. She actually has three. I'm going to go through service. this quickly because. There's definitely plenty of bonuses that we can get that are useful. I'd kind of just been saving skill points and skipping it at the end of every turn. Which is why some of these have quite a lot to go through. Uh, we've got Waywatchers here, we've got Zotes. And we've got... Great Stags that look like Striking Branches is actually the way to go there. Order master is important so we can keep the deficit going. Alright, uh, building upgrades. I should check my main settlements as well. If we go and sort this by province wealth, yeah, the jungles of Chi'an and sort themselves out. We need to leave the spot for the bamboo grove. That gives plus four spirit, forest spirit and flying monster unit recruitment rank in all provinces. That's actually pretty huge. Once they, we've gone through the Ritual of Rebirth there. The only one left. We just need an army that we can teleport in that direction. 
Yeah, otherwise, like our, for our objectives now, we got full campaign victory. Unfortunately, there's no reward for any of these, which really sucks. This one gives like the extra hero recruit rank, but we haven't recruited anyone in a little while. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. See what the enemy do. I think there's one army that's in a bit of peril. That will probably get attacks, I would assume. Oh, Teclis came out to attack uh, Ayarak. And if we can order a resolve it with medium casualties, I'll take it. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> um, she is in a little bit of trouble. Thankfully, the Troke is going to help us out quite a bit here. Let's just put the banner onto the Forest Dragons. And uh, we'll rely on our way watchers quite a lot to mow them down. So I won't put my low units in unless I have to. Uh, we are going to start in range of them, I think. Uh, actually, no, we won't do that because I can't get my other troops up there. I'll stay back here. Right, I'm going to put these in like a separate group. Just kind of waits further back. Right, this is probably the best place for us to stop. And yeah, I don't know if I should really commit or not. I think holding them at the choke here is the best bet. We're not going to have enough time to start attacking them by the time the reinforcements come in anyway, so looks like we've got a pretty scary battle on our hands. Let them reorganize and head our way. I uh, will move back a little bit here because this is better choke. We'll move these, put them on guard. So our priority will be to take out their range forces. I'm also going to have to kill their calves so they don't kill my range forces with those. Get the chariots and the uh, the cav here is a bit of a problem, for sure. Uh, obviously the artillery is going to hurt, but not much I can do about that for now. Well, maybe what I can do is uh, have the eagles go and kill the great eagle. And... Um, Mm, then again, I don't want to like get shot around too much here. What I'm going to do is go over here. We'll get the here we heal down. Oh, I did that a bit soon. Oops. It's fine. Just fly off to one side for now. They're going to make me come to them, aren't they? Because of the artillery. Frustrating. Well, we'll move up on the flank. As soon as we're in range, we'll stop and start firing. But no, I want to get too ahead of myself with these guys. To be honest, we can probably just annihilate that Illyrian Reaver Archer. Just throw out some breath attacks. Spell ready. Right, let's kill those little room reaver archers. And now we're just going to focus on the Grey Eagle. That way we can get everything healed up together. 
You just gotta be careful though. Uh, also, we really need to. Put the Isadora and Reavers. This is kind of bad because I can't kite that many range forces at the same time. We need to almost commit the dragons, I think. I'm going to need a couple of dragons to come save us from the seagull. The big one's going to be like dropping down some solid spells here. Hit the Illyrium Reaver Archers there, hit the Illyrium Reaver Archers there. Those who actually have range to attack us, so it's a bit sketch. Uh, but the, dra the, uh, the dragon, the eagle's gone, so that's good. Uh, we don't care about Silver and Guard right now. The next big thing, really, is... Um, range forces. Let's dive into these. Actually, let's just hold off for a sec. Earth attack. Earth attack. And I will throw that breath attack in there. This breath attack can hit there. Okay, good. Actually pretty big. Uh, let's now go for the Eagle Claw Bolt Throws at the back. And we can keep kiting with these. Because the Eagle Claw Bolt Throws are the main things that are going to kill my other forces. Uh, some of these can deal with the White Lions. together. Our aim is true. Death to all at once. Right, we do kind of need to chase these off the field. Hit the archers with light armor. I need to get her back at least because this is a fantastic opportunity for a spell. Right, let's uh, consolidate the dragons. Uh, to kill off like these archers. I follow the song. We can dive into the area reaver archers as well, actually. I will find it. Perfect. Right. This is kind of crazy right now. I have a lot of magic. I should be using it. But even just healing these is going to help us by a lot of time. Shoot those. Shoot those.
defenders of Athel Lauren. Time to kite. I really wish I had another dwellers below her. We do have breath attacks from the dragons. That's something. Moving now. Following fate's call. There. Alright, we just wanna be kiting. As soon as we can, we want to try and get our dragons back over here. Way watchers, ready to fire. Ever ready, ever ready. Yes, armed and ready. Spellweaver repositioning. Our bows are yours. Quickly, warriors. Moving. Get the dragons back. Dragons will benefit the most from healing, and we have a breath, breath attack to use. Archers ready! We are fire! Way watchers! I will find it. A dream of trees. We can kill all of the smaller units. We can use the dragons then to focus down their mages and stuff. Let's just get together. Kill the Silverman Guard. Get them all healed up. Good, right, now we want to focus down the mages. Let's just kill off that silver and guard. Right, we've definitely won now, I think. That was very close. Very close indeed. If those chariots were actually charging us down right now, we'd be so screwed. For the eternal realm. For Kernos. Bows of Athel Lauren. As you command. Release. We'll shoot the art range of life because we can breath attack these smaller units. Let's hit the mage on the chariot. We never miss. And that's it. We did it. Crikey. That was that was a battle, huh? Tough one. We made it work. Try and kill as many of these as we can, although most of them are going to be long gone. We'll end it there. We've got a lot of replenishment at the end of the turn. They won't. Because we're in a settlement. So we ended up wiping out two full armies because of that, basically, which is really nice. We're obviously taking the replenishment. It's a shame we lost 
all of our blade singers, but we'll probably spend the turn getting them back. A few turns, I suppose. I was hoping she would actually take the Solomon there. It would have made it a lot easier for us to uh, catch up and kill her. Alethanar's army is looking fine. It's like, sometimes Alethanar can make really, really scary stacks of Shadow Warriors. But in this case, it's not so bad. Ooh. We're being attacked again. This time by... Bretonia. Well, it <laughs> goes nothing. It's gonna really just come down to us spamming, healing the uh, the dragons. I might harass the initial forces with the Waywatchers. There's no real reason not to. I don't think they had much cab. I should have probably checked. Yeah, we can get these dragons up to a decent amount of health. Oh. I like here. And in the right to hold that name. Let's just make sure they are maximum spread. There's only one range force or range unit, so I'm good. And yeah, all of these. Just have together. And she can immediately start healing. And all of these should immediately shoot the field trebuchet. Deepwood archers! Faster! Spring will come. I should probably line these up near the edge of the map. Because that way I get really good breath attacks when they first come in at once end them aim fire should probably shoot the foot squires with priority to be honest we don't have shields I did it again. We should keep these like separate while I do this. It's actually really important that they are healing up. Dauntless Azrae! Death to all! Ready to fight! With haste! Ready to fire! Uh, ammo is kind of a problem as well here. Take out the Lord. Awaiting the call. Sent by Isha. I follow the song. Following fate's call. Way watchers. They actually come in really, really close together. Yeah. But if they keep stacking up, this is perfect. Because this is like prime breath attack territory. I kind of just shot my own dragon with that one. <laughs> that wasn't very clever.
I mean, if I can break them and make them run off the field, that would be insane. Moving now. Spellweaver ready. Yeah, maybe I'd do that. We'll just drop that there. Just to finish those off. Oh yeah, we should probably be kiting these. <laughs> oh, that's victory. Never mind. <laughs> Job done. Another pretty wild victory, to be honest. Nice. Oh, we'll end the battle there. For the heroic victory. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing really well. Well, that went very well indeed. And obey. that's now destroyed three or four armies <laughs> at Aquitaine. Baited the AI to throw all they had at us there. Wow. The sisters right, well, back to the sisters who so can go and take Monfort. Harmony shall reign. They shall join the weave. And we will pop in that building. Actually, I don't know if it's worth getting these. They, they do give it like 104. It is a little bit more money, I suppose. Serene Better than no money at all. She is fully replenished. Would you look at that? Beautiful. We don't have enough to attack Mage of the Bastion. Faithful. So what I'm going to do is... I think we'll just clean up these armies. we just go the kill her. We go one kill this lost. one. Make Ariel and, Orion proud. and then we go take Bordelow, right? Or if we'll have enough to do that. Observe. Yeah, period victory. We'll take it. I'm sure she still has her eagles. Okay. Well, we did want to have blade singers in this army. Is, is it set up for them? Uh, we could just go for wounded rangers. Still work. Wild Red Rangers we can get in one turn as well, so we don't have to sit around doing nothing. I think we'll do six Wild Red Rangers, an extra Eagle. Yeah, that would do. And Quartermaster. Nice. Okay, over to Orthiodai. Orthiodai does not need to head south anymore. I think what we'll do with Orthiodai is we'll have him be one of the ones that like jumps to like Laurelon or something like that. Uh, or, or actually, he, we need to go and deal with Elithanar. So uh, let's have him do that for us. We'll go to the Witchwood. That will zoom him over here. And from there, we can go up to the Temple of Adeoth. One thing I really, really like about the Wood Elves is being able to ping around all over the place with the... Yeah, with the... Uh, world Roots like that. It's really cool. None shall live. Windal can take Eshin. Was that Balthasar Gelt? Yeah, it was. Plus six armor These for his army, time. which is really nice, especially for the Zotes. And then Draka can take Templehof. Very nice. Proud son of Athaluran. We have Daith that can take Zufbar, and I think that's the end of the Golden Order. It is indeed. At your service. These are dark times. Path 
How can I assist you? Move on to Orion. Uh, Orion didn't get attacked by Alario, surprisingly. I really thought she would go for it. The forest calls. Okay, it looks like we're going to be able to defeat her quite easily the then. Oh, <laughs> unless I misclick. Wow. For the that was a fail. Even the law master Massive fail. Not. Right, let's kill off this army. Probably want to fix this up while we're here. That's all of that sorted. <laughs> I can't believe that misclick, that's so sad. Right, uh, I might as well kill this chap while we're here. Vikram. Wipe out his army of slayers. I acquiesce to your request. Your request is reasonable. And Arden, he's going to be jumping over here. Let's see how far we can go. That'll do. That means Arden will be the one to take Kalagdron. And of course, take Iron Rock. That was Thorak in there. Okay. Earth is taking Brion. And from Brion, we can just head over towards Althuan. Oliari up to Prague. We fight for the forest. Present. And we'll head on to Volksgrad. Alana is now done up here, but can deal with this army of Nagarith, so that's good. We fight for <laughs> future. What were they doing there? <laughs> Oh, that's so silly. Well, Caron Car is going to be our next target. Catra. Still moving on the Great Arena. Another time to wipe out Tor Elisor. We will have wiped out two more factions this episode already. Brilliant. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just sail around, see if there's anyone else we need to care about. I don't think so, though. Uh, Othiodai. Uh, we're going to have Othiodai try to defeat Tyrion, I think. Just level him up before we do. Don't have... The health bonus is just yet. Yeah. Right, if Tevril is in range to hit Mount Silver Spare, we'll do that for sure. That way we can kind of be most efficient with our movement range. I can get Strathot almost in range of World's Edge Archway. I will shape this. So Ayarak dealt with Teclus, which means that Lothan is vulnerable. But we have taken quite a decent amount of damage. I think we're just going to go for Kendall as planned. Get that sweet replenishment going. These are all max level, aren't they? We really need to get through to here so that I can get the forest roar off. The missile resistance, that's going to be very, very helpful. Uh, so we'll just go piercing thorns as well so that we can get to the rally and then get the next upgrades. How can I assist you? Okay, so Akerin was going to be the one to take Averheim. Rusty. 
I suppose that Ardor can take a vert but Okie dokie. I think that's everybody moved. Underling can level up. These are dark times. We'll max out obscuring canopy. Perennialty. Lovely. Spellweaver of Athel Lauren. up any damage buildings and off we go. Alright, let's see what happens in this end turn because the last end turn was spicy. None of the elves seem to want to do anything. Have we really got to that point now? It seems like we might have. One of these... F None of these factions are strong enough to do anything at the end of the turn because we have killed a lot of armies lately. A lot. Right, from here, we probably want to go to Helmgard, I think. Or I could go Castle Baston. We have because we can have Ayala Kit Musulon. If we just keep Itching killing off Bretonia, I think that's not a bad attack. idea. Absolutely. We fight for the forest. The world roots grow once more. Good. Right, while we are at three out of three, let's just get the highlight standard. You are too kind, Done. Day. Sister, give it me. Wood elf spellweaver. Make Ariel and Orion proud. Okay, that's missile on. Wonderful. Sisters ready. <laughs> we have taken this area so fast. So now we've got to be keeping an eye on Alethanar. What do I want to do with this army? Maybe I can ambush it. I have a 100% ambush chance, so yeah. Why not? Alright, Findol. From here, what do I want to do? I think I might go to the Forest of Gloom. Hmm, no, it's going to take like three turns to get there. I think we just carry on. Two arms. We'll have Drake ahead towards Krugenheim. So, I really wanted to take out Alario, but uh, I messed that up. So, we're going to go and take White Peak instead. And we'll take out Alario afterwards. Meanwhile, Arden can take Port Anrock. Not sure why I went that way, but I've still reached it, so that's fine. Good. I live to serve Ariel. Wait, does he have the sort of. Okay. I mean, Dawn's hope. Not sure what's going on there. It looks like the effects there, but she's here. Pretty sure Alario had it. Bit of checked, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just have Arden take Caragdron. And the Lindeling. And attack Orgrim. Or at least block him off. There we go. I mean, maybe I should have actually not you wasted call? the time there. And Yeah, probably should have just boiled roots. Anything is possible. Ayarax moving up to the Forest of Gloom. We can jump him somewhere next turn. Time for Dirthu. You dishonor me. The move no, on to Trelania. What a abyss to what? Uh, Daith is one that might be able to use. The forest has 
has spoken. I acquiesce to your request. The forest of gloom. We'll do that. Well. Wow. Right, time to take Kalankar. The home of Nagarith. Already taken out. Present. Over to Ardiadis. I think we'll go straight to Yechish if we can reach it, which we can. And we'll recruit a new lord here. One that we already have. And he can go and colonize Volksgrad. Alright, now it's time for Ara to explore. Take the Great Arena with Catra. Comes quick. We'll move to Hagrif from there. Over to Kragothi. This has become their... Oh no, no, not quite. That's just the wall symbol. I always think that's like a crown. <laughs> of the Odite. And take Val's Anvil. I am almost tempted to order Resolve because his army is kind of trash. And I think... The Truman just run him down anyway. Yeah, we'll do it. Otherwise, it'll just take an unnecessarily long amount of time. Sorry if any of you guys wanted to see that, but uh, yeah, it probably would have been pretty boring. Just a blob of Truman running through the gate, as usual. <laughs> Okay, well, that sorts that out. Uh, from here, we can go to Torsathai, and then I'm probably going to run back to Lothurn from there. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we're going to keep closing the jaws on the rest of the old world. We are making superb progress right now, and it really doesn't seem too far away from a full world domination. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,